Now my fashion lovers, welcome to today's tutorial. On today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make this lovely corporate dress. It's a gown. And when you look at the sleeve, you see that the sleeve has ruffles on the sleeve. And if you have any question, please ask in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on the notification bell to be notified anytime I post a new video. Please, if you have any question, ask in the comment section. Let's go straight to the tutorial. We are starting with the down part, which is the skirt. And you are going to use the biggest body part to cut it, which is the hip, divided by 4, plus 2 inches sewing allowance. And now I'm taking the hip measurement, which is 9 inches from the waist. The hip measurement is 9 inches from the waist. And now I'm taking the waist measurement divided by 4. You mark it. Your waist measurement divided by 4. That is the starting point. Then you add 2 inches sewing allowance. On the hip line, I'll mark hip divided by 4. You mark it. Then add your 2 inches sewing allowance. I'm marking the back and the front together. The difference between the back and the front is just the zipper allowance. And whatever I have on the hip, I'll go down to the down part and I will minus one inch from it and go ahead and connect the lines. You go ahead and connect the lines. That is for the down part of the gown. Go ahead and cut. Like I said, I'm cutting the front and the back part of the gown. The down part. Go ahead and cut. For this skirt, I won't be putting any dart, but you can go ahead and put your dart. But for this, I won't be putting any dart. And now we go over to the upper part. For the upper part, the length I'm working with is 17 inches plus 1 inch sewing allowance. And now I just marked the chest line, which is 9 inches. And now for the shoulder, your shoulder divided by 2. You go ahead and mark it. Shoulder divided by 2. And you go ahead and mark it and take down the line. The chest line. And now I'm taking the neckline. The neckline I'm taking is three and a half inches for the width. And for the depth, I'll be taking three and a half inches for the depth. You go ahead and connect like so. And now you go ahead and measure, make sure that your markings are correct. For the front and the back, I'm marking front and the back together. The only difference is just the zip line. It's just the zip. And for the front and back, they're going to have the same neckline. But if you want, you can take up one inch for the width, for the length of the back. And now I'm taking one inch for the shoulder slope. For the shoulder slope. And for the bust measurement, you go ahead and divide it by four. Divide the bust measurement by four. Add your two inches sewing allowance. The only thing I'm taking here is not a bust here. It's just the normal bodies. It's just the bust measurement and the waist measurement. On the waistline, waist divided by 4 plus 2 inches sewing allowance. You go ahead and connect it. Connect your armhole. After connecting the armhole,
connect the arm hole and now we are going to take the darts and i'll be using the waist darts for this tutorial i'll be using the waist darts your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two plus half inch sewing allowance you go ahead and add it up mark it down to the waist and on the waistline i'll be taking half inch on both sides take out half inch on both sides and that is where the dart will stop at the nipple point that is where it's going to start the dart you go ahead and connect the half inch on the waistline and that is the dart you go ahead and cut for the back i left one inch for the zip allowance for the back And for this corporate dress, I'll be using facing. I'll be using facing, not lining. And for the back, you go ahead and impute the darts. The same way you did for the front, you impute the darts for the back. The same way. And now I'm removing the, taking away the excess zip at the back. The excess zip at the back, just on the waistline, go up by one inch. Go up by one inch and connect it back. Connect it back. And go ahead and cut. You go ahead and open up the back. It's going to be two piece for the back. And now we are going to cut the facing. Go ahead and cut the facing. This is the facing for the front. You can give it any shape you want. This is facing for the front. And of course, the back is going to be two. Give it the shape you want. Go ahead and cut. And this is the facing for the front. And for the back, you are going to do the same for the back. At this point, if you have not subscribed, please subscribe and like my video. Share my video to encourage my channel, please. Facing for the back part.
and go ahead and open it up it's going to be two parts you go ahead and open it up and now you go ahead and stitch it place the facing on the neckline you go ahead and stitch it Take it to your machine and stitch it. And the same thing you're doing to the front, that is the same thing you're doing to the back part. Go ahead and trim out the excesses. After trimming, turn over to the back part. And this is what you have you go ahead and sew your dots like i said do the same for the back part You go ahead and do the same to the other side. And after stitching, you go ahead and mark out the sketch parts. I'm determining where I'm going to put the side cape. When you look at the gown, you will see where there is where I place a, a cape, like um side cape, and that is what I'm measuring now. You measure. And the length, the length you are going to have. And now I'm cutting it out. Nine inches by nine inches for the two sides of the gown. For the two sides of the gown, you're going to cut two pieces. And now you go ahead and give it the shape. You go ahead and shape it instead of leaving it to be straight. You go ahead and give it a shape. Give it a nice curve at the edge. It's going to be two piece because you're going to use it to turn. You're going to turn it so that it will appear, the finishing will be perfect.
and this is the smaller part that will be on top this is the smaller part that will be on top of it you go ahead and take the measurements you want depending on how big you want it to be It's going to be two piece because you are turning it and this is how it's going to appear the distance between the first one and the second one is two inches <coughs> and the length the length i have here is five inches you cut off the remaining and now i'll go ahead and sew it down turn it and also the short the smaller one you give it a shape go ahead and cut it off and I'm going to sew it after sewing go ahead and turn it to the right side For the upper part where you're going to attach it to the waistline of the skirt, you don't have to stitch it down, just leave it open because that is where you're going to turn it out from. And now this is what you have. You go ahead and give it a good press. This is the front part of the gown. The down part. That is the skirt part. And now this is where I want it to start from. It's not going to get into the, the sewing allowance. It's just going to be 2 inches close to the stitching allowance you go ahead and stitch it down on the waistline we are going to stitch it down before joining the upper parts to the down parts And this is what you have. You go ahead and see the other side. The same thing you did to this side, that is the same thing you are going to do to the other side. You go ahead and place it and stitch it down. And after stitching, this is what you have for the front part. 
and now you're going to sew the upper part attach the upper part to the waistline using half inch of sewing allowance For the back part, you just go ahead and join the upper part and the down part on the waistline. And this is what you have. And now we're going to the sleeve. We're going to the sleeve. This is the back. This is the back. You go ahead and join the front and the back on the shoulder. Go ahead and put your zip for the back part and join it on the shoulder. At this point, please support my channel, subscribe, and ask a question in the comment section. If there's any tutorial you want me to teach, please write in the comment section. And now for the sleeve, for the sleeve, we are going to cut a long piece. We are going to cut a long piece of three inches width and the length, depending on how full you want the ruffle to be. That is what you're going to do. And you go ahead and stitch the middle, stitch your gather stitches on the middle part. And you go ahead and draw the gathers and before you do this make sure the sides you go ahead and fold it so that you have neat edges you go ahead and fold it and draw your gathers after drawing your gathers you cut your basic sleeve cut your basic sleeve cut your basic sleeve get the middle find the middle and attach the ruffles on it find the middle of the sleeve and attach the ruffles on it And for the ruffles, make sure you're stitching at the center, at the middle. And after stitching, this is what you have. This is what you have. And you go ahead and attach it to your dress. Get the middle of the sleeve and the middle of your dress. Go ahead and attach it. And go ahead and stitch it down. 
and take it to your weaving machine and weave all the edges to have neat finishing and this is what you have for the sleeve and this is the end of our tutorial for today please go ahead and subscribe if you have any questions ask in the comment section and this is our perfect corporate office gown and see you next time when i upload another video have a wonderful day bye bye